Hey guys, today I'm proudly to present to you the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS dressed exclusively in the Zigno Magno Iridium Silver Matte Finish. The Mercedes AMG GTS is a two-door, two-seat Grand Tour Coupe produced by Mercedes AMG of Germany. The AMG GT exterior design was kept similar to that of the predecessing SLS AMG. It featured the wide wheel arches and lower bodywork of the SLS but does not employ its going door. The interior featured a large center console and decorative element in a leather and carbon polymer design which gives the AMG GTS a very unique and impressive cockpit design. The GTS uses a front mid engine, rear wheel drive layout with the engine inside the vehicle's wheelbase. The vehicle structure is made up of 93% aluminum with the front module base made up of magnesium. The car is powered by a brand new engine made by Mercedes AMG which features a front mid mounted 4 liter Biotoba V8 engine. This new V8 is in a hot inside V configuration with exhaust and turbocharger inside the cylinder banks to reduce turbo lag and uses dry sub lubrication. The power is sent to the rear wheel through a transaxle 7 speed AMG speed shift dual clutch transmission. The 4 liter Biotoba V8 engine in the AMG GTS is even more responsive. With 503 horsepower and 479 pound feet of torque, it can hit from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds according to Mercedes. Better yet, in a recent road test executed by car and driver, the AMG GTS managed to accelerate from 0 to 60 mile per hour in just 3 seconds and ran the quarter mile in just 11.2 seconds. Now let's take a look at the sticker here. So the base AMG GTS start at $129.9. This model comes with a uh, $3,950 Dixigno silver matte paint option, black napper red seats for $1,200, and a whole list of options below. Total of $26,085 in options, not including uh, destination and handling. Now you can pause the video and take a closer look if you like. Up front, the first thing that will catch your attention is the pair of active full LED headlight with integrated LED daytime running lamp as well as LED turn signal lamp. In the middle, you can see the AMG grille with Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle. Very aggressive looking front end. Now moving to the side, this particular model comes upgraded with 19 inch AMG cross spoke fork wheels in black with 265, 35 low profile high performance tires. Behind the wheel is the set of ventilated cross drill brake discs with the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in red with AMG lettering on it. And here's the specific AMG DTS fender with V8 by Tobo on it. Gloss black side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. On top you can see the fixed panoramic sunroof. Now rear wheels are also 19 inches and are stacked in both width and diameter to optimize every element of handling. Behind the rear wheel is also the ventilated cross drill brake disc and the brake caliber painted in red with AMG lettering on it as well. It also comes with anti-lock braking system, adaptive braking technology as well as brake assist. I really like the uh, wheel design on this uh, model. To the back, the first thing you'll notice is the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED technology also illuminates the brake lamp more quickly, offering driver behind you more time to react which can make a critical difference in a panic stop. Very stylish looking tail light. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frames the dual trapezoidal exhaust tip. Rear deflector and parking sensor are also integrated into the rear bumper. Rear view camera is located right above the license plate. And here is the automatically deploying rear spoiler. And I'll show you how it looks uh, retract. Very sporty looking back. 
and there's the third LED brake light okay here I have the remote on the remote I have the panic lock unlock as well as trunk release now let's open it up and check out the interior So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And as you can see, the side view mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. And to unlock, just place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And once again, the side view mirror will automatically unfold. The exterior color is known as Iridium Silver Metallic, finished in matte, featuring full black exclusive Napa leather interior with red contrast stitching as well as silver aluminum trims and carbon fiber trims throughout. Very sporty looking interior. Okay now let's jump into the driver's seat. So to start the vehicle you can either press the start and stop button or insert the key into the uh, key ignition located inside the uh, center console and turn it twice to start. So I'm going to walk outside and show you guys the uh, exhaust note from the outside. We're going to start it up in uh, normal mode and then rev it up in normal. And after a while we're going to rev it up in sport plus mode. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 AMG DTS have to offer. Under the hood, the AMG DTS is equipped with 4 liter V8 bi turbo engine with 7 speed AMG speed shift, dual clutch transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter, rear wheel drive with eco start and stop system. It also comes with fork dual wishbone suspension for both the front and the rear. The AMG GTS is pushing out 503 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Can hit from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds according to Mercedes. Top track speed is electronically limited at 193 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 16 city, 22 highway, and 18 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. So this is a look at the driver side door panel. It is all black with leather and Alcantara as well as red contrast stitching with silver aluminum trims as well. There you have the Burmester surround sound speaker and the door lock and unlock. Both windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option. Carbon fiber trims there. Door storage compartment. And there you have the AMG carbon fiber door trim. There's the sport pedal. And here's a closer look at the AMG sport seat. It is wrapped in leather with Alcantara insert in the middle. And there you have the AMG uh, badge on the backrest. Red contrast stitching is throughout the seat. Now both front seats feature multi-adjustable power front seat. Now both front seats feature three position memory. Driver seat recall three star position for steering wheel, seat, and outside mirror. And both front seat does feature three stage heated seats as well. The three spoke flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in Alcantara with AMG lettering at the bottom and red contrast stitching and silver aluminum trims throughout looks and feel very sporty it also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, 
voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel, you have the up and down pedal shifter, so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. To the left, you have the uh, turn signal light control as well as the windshield wiper control. And here is a look at the uh, instrument cluster with the large screen in the middle that shows uh, important information directly in front of the driver. There you have trip navigation, radio, media, telephone, assistant graphic, service, setting. You do have all kind of setting that you can uh, control with the uh, through the uh, steering wheel, which is very convenient. And there you have the uh, cruise control. The steering wheel does feature power tail and telescopic steering column. To the left, you have the circular air vent with a black gloss trim and red contrast stitching around it. Here you have the light control. There's the parking brake as well as the trunk release button. And there you have the uh, Burmester surround sound speaker on the dash. The dash is also wrapped in leather with red contrast stitching. Now this particular model does come upgraded with the high-end Burmester surround sound system that's specifically tailored for the AMG GTS with 10 high quality speaker and a 640 watts 10 channel digital amplifier that will blow you and your passenger away with the sound quality. Located centrally on the dash you have the big screen mounted on the dash with beautiful carbon fiber trim as well as four circular air vent. Looks very nice. I really like the, the uh, design of the dash. There you have the full zone climate control and the menu button in the middle. Carbon fiber trims on the center console as well with dual cup holders here. Very nicely designed. Here you have the uh, controller to the infotainment system. You can just turn the knob around to move around screen, push down to select, or move it up right down or left. And here you also have the touchpad that you can use as well. You also have the back and the favorite button on there. And here you have the gear shift lever. You can push it up to get into reverse, slightly down for neutral, and down again for drive, and press the P for park. And located on the left side, you have the uh, knob to control the uh, driving mode. You have the Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus, and Race. Here you have the engine start and stop, traction on and off, suspension setting, and there you have the exhaust button, the auto start and stop, manual button, and the volume control as well as the on and off button. So on the menu screen you have navigation, radio, and uh, different menus. Let me uh, turn on the radio so you guys can see how it sounds. Dealer serving the entire Baton Rouge listening area. That means you'll. It's at fifty percent off. Car speakers, five dollars. Thousand watt car. Very nice sound quality. All right, so here you have the center console with AMG badge and boss on it. Inside you have the key ignition, two USB plug as well as the SD card slot. And here you have the uh, glove box compartment. It is made with uh, Alcantara as well. And a closer look at the seat once again. Very nice looking sports seat with silver aluminum trims on it. And to the back you also have the uh, carbon fiber ball right there. Ok 
Okay, on top you have the retractable rear deck lid spoiler and the three stage heated seat with parking assist on and off, emergency hazard light and here you have the light control and the SOS button to use in case of an uh, emergency rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener and here's the look at the panoramic sunroof it is a fixed panoramic roof with the manual uh, sunshade Alcantara headliner sun visor mirror with a card holder okay now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so the trunk in the AMG GTS is very spacious it offers 12.3 cubic feet of cargo space which is plenty of cargo space for its class and there you also have the 12 volt power plug here you have the subwoofer and uh, different accessory that come with the car your AMG floor mat Now the gas cap is located on the passenger side, just push it in to open and it does require a premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 19.8 uh, gallons of fuel which is a pretty big tank. Overall, the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS is a super sport car offering seating for two passengers. Every passenger on board will be greeted with the sporty cabin while also get to enjoy the comfortable thrilling ride. Interior wise, the Mercedes AMG GTS comes with a super nice quality upholstery material. Everything are made to uh, meet the spec of a supercar with plenty of carbon fiber and Alcantara throughout. Alright, now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in front. Very spacious. It is very low sitting in the front passenger seat. You do get the feeling that uh, you're sitting in the super sport car. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2016 Mercedes AMG GTS. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know what you think about the new 2016 AMG GTS. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.